If you guys need cheap coins, check out FIFA Coin Stock down below in the description. Dirty at checkout. And if you want cheap games, cheap codes, G2A also down below. What's happening, beautiful people? My name is Dirty Mike, and welcome to the Scoop Turn Tutorial. And we're getting into some advanced techniques. If you guys enjoy the content, hit that like button right now. Pass it around the community. Show your friends. It does take me quite a bit of time to generate these tutorials. We've got the Scoop and Basic, Off the Bounce, Pause, Go Time, as well as Double Trouble in the Scoop Faint. Ooh, things are about to get wild. Roll clip. Starting out right, we're into the arena, getting some practice under our belt. And the scoop turn has identical execution to the fake shot or the fake pass. And it's pretty simplistic in that manner. You've got to make sure you're going in a diagonal direction. And it's exclusive to 4-star and 5-star skillers. And there's a difference between a running scoop turn and a standing scoop turn. And as you guys can see, I have pulled up the side view. It's a great place to get some extra practice. Get into the skill games. And I've expressed this, I think, the last couple videos. If you guys need to work on skill moves, you're tired of that first-person perspective in the arena, get into some skill games, and we can get real match sideline to sideline view. The scoop and basic might be some of the more common scenarios you have with a scoop turn. And primarily, you'd like to have a five-star skiller for these examples. In the first freeze frame, we've got Ronaldo. My opponent is overplayed. The inside of the pitch is open. And you're using a scoop turn as a quick turn it's gonna give you a jolt you're gonna be able to explode and make an opportunity that might not have been there if you had to do a regular turn or you might have had to use the pace control second example get the ball out in front we're using this speedy turn we're gonna get it on our dominant right foot and of course having Ronaldo does not hurt and we just bang it home on the near post and that's come of the basics for the scoop turn remember diagonal or you could be moving in a perpendicular but it has to be one of those two when we're looking at off the bounce, it's more so something I want to express. A lot of people aren't aware. Uh, with skill moves, you're not able to execute the majority off a of bounce. However, the fake shot, the scoop turn, as you can see in this freeze frame, the ball is bouncing, and boom! We execute that, and we're on our way. We're going to score goals. And just not many skill moves are capable of doing anything unless it's already been settled, it's on the ground, you've got full control, and the scoop turn is a little bit different. Remember, guys, when you are executing skill moves, do not hold the sprint command. This will not work if you are sprinting, and as you can see, we set up a beautiful near post finish for our teammate off that scoop turn a lot of people are not able to anticipate a scoop turn off the bounce they're not prepared they're kind of caught off guard ah when we're looking at pause go time this is designed for four star skillers because they can't do running scoop turns you're gonna wait you have to have decent spacing as you can see in the freeze frame and then you take off and you can kind of lull your opponent to sleep a lot of times people get baited and this is a very common maneuver that you're gonna see in videos if you're watching someone who's dope at skill moves or even someone that considers themselves a skiller it's a great setup it's a good opening move look at this example we're gonna watch it in full speed Ooh, we got a scoop into a feint and we're not done BAM and then we get to the inside and it just throws off your opponent's timing and in FIFA rhythm and timing is everything on the defensive end on the attack if you are out of whack it's going to show and you're not gonna be able to move the ball around you're not gonna make those important stops those crucial tackles many of you guys might have guessed what double trouble implicates what it foreshadows and as you can see in the freeze frame we've executed one skill move we've done one scoop turn and you gotta go diagonal to diagonal so we're set up the second scoop and it gives you a nice spurt Fernandez has never looked so quick and we're not even done look at that oh can you finish absolutely and we're on the board we've got the equalizer and the scoop just changes the game in so many different ways for five star skillers and four star skillers that's why everyone has been so upset about losing Ebra look at the diagonal thoughts and I'm thinking this before I'm even starting the execution one two and we're not even done let's add a triple just to make it make it feel genuine as we finish it home quadrado I appreciate you that's how you start out a match second minute and we're already at 1-0 with a actually a triple scoop turn, not even a double. Wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. Last up, we've got the scoop turn plus the body feint equals FIFA goodness. And we're going at full speed. Look at Murdens. He's working and twerking as we finish that on the near post. And I enjoy the body feint as well as the ball roll as easy combination moves for the scoop turn. And if you don't know how to do either, 
check the playlist. I've done a tutorial on both of those skills, and I think they're extra effective if you're combining with a scoop turn. It's going to start out your skill runs. You're going to look like you got it all figured out. Like You have that real deal. Holy field, that razzle dazzle. If you guys enjoyed the content, remember to hit that thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. Follow me on Twitter and Facebook at DirtyMikeUSA, and I have a lot more content coming for you ASAP, ASAP.